I'm Marie here. Welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would talk about where my hair is at and give you guys an update on my gray hair transition journey. Uh, before I do that, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so. Uh, leave comments in the section. If you enjoy the content, please give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started. So um, I decided to go gray March of 2019, about the second week of March of 2019. So it's been 16 months altogether now at this point, and this is all we're left with. Now, when I first decided to start growing it out, my hair was down to about here, all one length, and so for about five months, I just let it grow and suffered with that demarcation line. It was super nasty. I wore my hair in a top knot most of the time. I'll leave a picture here so you can see. Uh, and it kind of worked. Like, it wasn't horrible, horrible. It was a little awkward, but it, it's life, right? So at about the five month mark, I decided I wanted to do something more intentional uh, so that I wasn't stuck looking like, oh, she's just let herself go mode. So I thought of a, di a few different things, but decided simply to chop it off, give myself a bunch of layers, and then keep, uh, keep cutting it. Uh, so I ended up with kind of this bit of like stripey uh, situation throughout my hair, but you'd see the gray peeking through. And it turned out to be a very great move. Uh, I enjoyed the process, got tons of compliments on the dark and the light hair, and overall it was really a positive experience. <laughs> that said, uh, I'm almost to the end of my journey. So other than this little bit here and here, the rest of the hair is now its silver natural color. To be really honest, I'm gonna miss this dark. Like it's just a little bit hanging on there, but I don't know, I don't know how I feel about letting it go. Like um, my hair, like I realized that I had a lot of identity wrapped up in that dark hair. And um, you know, somehow I just, <laughs> Like I'm so far from dark and mysterious and yet I really liked that vibe like the dark hair and uh, Dramatic it's dramatic. So I really love that my sisters both are blonde I was never about the blonde life. So now that I have hair like this and um, My hair is definitely silvery gray uh, But in certain lights it actually I think looks almost a platinum blonde and my hairdresser She said she's awesome but she said, oh, people would kill for this color. Like, it's such a great color. And I'm very thankful for it. So I'm really, I love the gray color that it went. But it's not dark and mysterious and dramatic or seemingly to me. So for me, this whole process has definitely been more about figuring out where my identity lies than, uh, you know, shifting my color. Uh, because to me... The gray hair isn't quite as fun as my dark hair. So anyway, um, yeah, I, I guess I, especially now that I'm down to the little bits, I feel a little bit like I'm mourning the, dark, the loss of that dark hair. And you know, it can seem like that's a little bit shallow or like, oh, that's not a big deal. And it isn't a big deal. In, in the grand scheme of things, uh, my hair color, who cares? Like who cares what color my hair is? But um, I have to just be honest and go, you know, I'm gonna miss this dark stuff. I'm gonna even miss the little streaks. I think it's fun. Maybe when I've grown it completely out, I'll put a few streaks in underneath, like some peekaboo streaks. Uh, Cause I like a little bit of a dramatic edge. I'm not sure how I feel with all one color. I'm still gonna grow out all of the pieces uh, because I wanna see this through and then I'll decide what I'm gonna do. But. I think that it would be a mistake to say to myself, ugh, it's just hair. You shouldn't feel bad about losing your dark hair. That's ridiculous. The bottom line is that when you're doing a big transition like this, it's a huge change. And let's face it, change can be stressful. Having yourself look not optimal for the first little while, that's a little bit stressful. Uh, you know, choosing to, like I went from long hair to short hair, or like, you know, this kind of length hair, super layered. Uh, it's a huge change. It was a change that I decided to make intentionally because of growing it out, but it, you know, it wasn't something that I would normally do. So all these changes, and then now losing my beautiful dark hair. Um, yeah, it's, it's just 
different. And so I want to encourage you guys, if you're transitioning to uh, gray, silver, however you want to word it, and you're feeling like, oh, you're missing that color, don't feel bad. Don't beat yourself up about it. Allow yourself to mourn the loss of that hair color. It's a whole entire different you emerging. And so maybe instead of, you know, once you've mourned that loss, realize that this is a new emerging you. What does the next phase of your life hold? This gray hair, it represents a whole other stage of life. So I want to encourage you to embrace what's coming. Embrace the new. Embrace the, you know, the, sh the shifts and the changes. Uh, look forward to, you know, when there's new, it's always hard. There's always change. But there's always, uh, there's always surprises and adventure and amazing things in that new emerging phase of life. I, you know, this was supposed to just be a video about the fact that I cut a little more off my hair and I, I don't know what it became. But anyway, maybe someone needed to hear that. I don't want you to be afraid of mourning the loss of what maybe seems not too important. It's your hair, you know. Uh, allow yourself to, to mourn the loss of that. Oh, it's not quite the same. But also uh, embrace the new you because the new you is fabulous. It's You're fabulous. You've got wisdom. You've got life experience. It's amazing. So yeah, that's all I'll say. That's all I've got to say. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. How are you enjoying your transition? Are you finding it difficult? Uh, if you do, just leave comments and I'll encourage you where I can. If you're finding it amazing, leave that as an encouragement for someone that's struggling. Recognize that we're all in it together. We're all making this transition together. Uh, and we, we all decided to do it for a reason. And that reason was probably pretty good. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, short hair almost to the end. This little bit last that I have. And basically, uh, just so that you know, as far as a cut is concerned, super layered in the back, like this is my shortest hair here. Um, and it, it's a bit of an angled bob coming down and then just some layers throughout here, but this is a long piece here. So I don't know, I, I'm not really good at describing haircuts. I guess that's it. Uh, good luck on your hair journey. My hope for you is that it's going well. Don't get discouraged, see it through, see it through. Even if you get to the end of it, you can always re-dye it, but see it through. That's all I have for you. Have a great week. We'll talk to you soon.